Hi there! In this video we introduce ratios. Ratios are usually written as a group of numbers with a colon between them and as a result they compare numbers. So in ratios we make comparisons between numbers and we can use ratios for conversions. As you can see ratios are used in a variety of different sections for the rest of your high school career. So let's leap right in and have a look at this picture. We have four aeroplanes and we have three cars. Now a ratio shows the relationship between the different amounts. We look at the quantity of one thing and compare that to the quantity of something else. So in this picture we can compare the quantity or number of planes to the quantity or number of cars. We can say that we are comparing planes to cars. We can say that for every four planes there are three cars. So four planes to three cars. Or we can write this as a ratio. Four colon three where the four refers to the planes because planes are first and the four is first. Order is very important in ratios by the way. Or we could even write this as a fraction. Four divided by three. Four planes, three cars. So ratios are quite versatile in terms of how we write them and what they mean. So as I said, we can write planes to cars as four to three, or we could say cars to planes, in which case you would say three to four. But you cannot say planes to cars is three to four, because that means something else. Suppose we look at these pictures now. We have smiley faces that are actually angels by the looks of things, and we have some sad faces. So we could have a look at the ratio of happy faces to sad faces. And we could count up the happy faces, there are six, and count up the sad faces, there are two. And we could say the happy faces to sad faces ratio is six to two. Now the ratio 6 to 2 is a perfectly good ratio, however it is not a ratio in its simplest form and we like to write ratios often in their simplest form. So we have to look now at the numbers 6 and 2 and say is there a common factor for those two numbers? What number divides into 6 and into 2? And the answer is that 2 divides into 6 and 2 divides into 2. 2 divides into 6 3 times and into 2 once. So the simplest form of this ratio is 3 to 1. And we can see this in our picture. If we have a look, for every 3 happy faces, there is 1 sad face. Alright, something else that is important with ratios is when we are comparing, we must compare like with like. We cannot compare liters and milliliters, they are not the same. We have to first convert the liters to milliliters or milliliters to liters. So one liter is a thousand milliliters. And now we can make the comparison between a thousand milliliters and 250 milliliters. So we can compare the ratio of the green liquid to the blue liquid and say that there is a thousand milliliters of green to every 250 mils of blue. Perhaps you would like to now reduce this ratio if you can. I think there is a common factor between 1000 and 250 and so the ratio can be simplified. Can you try that? Did you get 4 to 1? Alright, so that is our basic introduction to ratios and now you can try some multiple choice questions.